Okay. Uh, welcome dito sa lesson natin on operational amplifiers with negative feedback. So in this lesson, pag-usapan natin ano ba yung uh, mga configuration or mga amplifiers, operational amplifiers na gumagamit ng negative feedback. Tapos, uh, titignan din natin or describe natin ano yung effect ng negative feedback dito sa mga amplifiers na to. Okay? <clears throat> So first, discuss muna natin ano ba yung negative feedback. Negative feedback is the process whereby a portion of the output voltage is uh, ng isang amplifier is returned dun sa input uh, with a phase angle na nag oppose dun sa ating input o balik na siya. So, <clears throat> ang kagandahan kasi sa paggamit ng negative feedback, uh, ano siya, may mga advantages siya na offer sa fit sa op amps no so katulad ng voltage gain kung walang negative feedback uh, masyadong mataas yung voltage gain ng isang operational amplifiers ano isang operational amplifier para mag uh, magamit yan sa mga linear ampli amplifier applications whereas kung meron tayong negative feedback yung voltage gain natin, masiset natin siya sa kahit na anong uh, value uh, by uh, configuring or computing for the resistive or the component ng circuit na yun. Okay? <clears throat> sa input impedance din, meron ding effect yung negative feedback. Kung wala tayong negative feedback, mas, uh, relatively yes, it can be relatively high for the operational amplifiers. Pero kung meron tayong negative feedback, we can further increase or reduce itong mga input impedance to a desired value. value. Sabihin, kaya natin kontrolin doon sa gusto nating input impedance, which is a good thing. No? Uh, output impedance-wise naman, <clears throat> kung meron tayong, uh, or kung wala tayong negative feedback na, na in-employ sa ating operational amplifier, Yes, it is relatively low. But then, if we use negative feedback doon sa ating circuit, no, we can be we can further reduce yung value ng ating output impedance, which is a, a good <coughs> uh, good thing kasi uh, gusto natin actually almost zero itong output impedance na to. Isa pa sa mga advantages ng paggamit ng negative feedback sa mga op-amps is that we we can significantly wider yung ating bandwidth or yung mga frequencies that can be uh, accepted dito sa mga sa amplifier <coughs> without losing gain. Pero sa negative feedback, dahil mataas yung ating voltage gain, napaka-narrow ng bandwidth na pwede niyang i-handle. So, ilan lang yan sa mga comparison ng paggamit ng negative feedback at saka ng walang negative feedback. Okay? So, simulan na natin dun sa ating uh, <coughs> next slide. Ano-ano yung mga op-amps na gumagamit ng negative feedback? So, an op-amp can be connected using negative feedback to stabilize yung gain and to increase yung frequency response. Okay? So, ito yung, itong dalawa na to yung usually nagiging reason kung bakit tayo gumagamit ng negative feedback. It's either we want to stabilize the gain or we want to increase the frequency response. So, ulitin ko ulit, yung negative feedback, <clears throat> it takes a portion of the output and ibinabalik natin yan, yung out of phase na yan, dun sa ating input, which in effect creates a reduction in gain. So, <clears throat> meron tayong tatlong basic configurations na mga op amp that uses negative feedback. So we have the non-inverting amplifier. Okay? We also have the voltage follower and the inverting amplifier. So itong tatlo na to ang i-discuss natin uh, sa mga susunod na slides at magsasolve tayo ng mga uh, problems related dito sa mga sa negative feedback dito sa tatlo na to. But before we discuss further, let me <clears throat> just go with the definition or 
uh, the operational definition ng isang closed loop voltage gain or yung ACL. No? Last, <clears throat> sa last discussion natin, we discussed yung open loop, di ba? Open loop voltage gain. Dito naman, dahil meron tayong feedback, we will uh, focus ourselves sa closed loop voltage gain. Ano ba tong closed loop voltage gain na to? The closed loop voltage gain is the voltage gain ng isang op-amp pagka ginagamitan na natin ng external feedback in circuit. No? So, pag nakakakita na kayo ng external feedback, so dalawa na yung voltage gain na associated dun sa, sa circuit. Isang open loop voltage gain at isang closed loop voltage gain. No? The, the loop or the closed loop voltage gain is determined by the external component values. Napaka-importante na itong term na to. Bakit? Na kaya pala natin kontrolin ang, ang closed loop voltage gain by manipulating or changing the external component values. And of course, if we can uh, manipulate dun sa ating mga component values, we can precisely control kung ano yung gusto nating closed loop voltage gain. So, ganyan ang principle behind dun sa paggamit natin ng negative feedback sa mga op-amps. Okay, so let's start with this non-inverting amplifier. <clears throat> so, itong non-inverting amplifier, <clears throat> it has a <clears throat> the input, yung ating input is uh, feed or fed dun sa non-inverting uh, pin ng ating op-amp. Kaya siya tinatawag na non-inverting amplifier. Okay? Tapos, meron tayong feedback uh, network, no? itong RF at saka RI. So, yung RF, it is the uh, <coughs> feedback resistor and yung ating I naman is yung ating input resistor. <coughs> So, ang concept behind this uh, non-inverting amplifier is actually a, <coughs> a voltage divider circuit. No? So, yung voltage output dito sa VF is uh, actually divided by uh, this resistors. So, ang ating voltage output sa R sub F, it is equal to R sub I divided by the sum of the resistance dyan sa feedback na yan, times yung ating voltage output. Yun yung babalik dito sa <coughs> non-inverting or sa inverting uh, input ng ating op-amps. So, since ang ina-amplify ng ating op-amp is yung ating V difference ng ating dalawang signal na yan, <coughs> yung ating output will now become uh, Doon sa una nating discussion, <coughs> it, is will, it will be equal to the open loop voltage gain times the differential voltage. And we know that the differential voltage dito sa configuration na to is <coughs> equal yan sa uh, V sub in minus V sub F. Ayan. And dahil alam naman natin na yung ating B sub F ay equal yan sa V sub O, no? R sub I over R sub I plus R sub F B sub O. So, ang matitira lang sa atin dyan ay A sub O L times V sub I minus R sub I over R sub I plus R sub F V sub O. And train I V sub O. So if we do, if we do <coughs> some algebra in this uh, particular equation, we will come up with this uh, voltage output equation. It is that uh, the voltage output of this particular non-inverting amplifier, it is equal to the sum ng ating dalawang resistor na nandyan, R sub I plus R sub F, divided by R sub I times 
the voltage input. No? Pakitandaan natin itong formula na to, Kasi it now relates yung ating input voltage sa ating output by simply knowing yung ating resistive network. Ibig sabihin yan, pag binago-bago natin yung R sub I at yung R sub F, pwede nating mabago-bago yung ating V no? with a constant dito sa V sub I. Kung hindi yan gumagalaw, pwede natin makontrol. And that's a good <coughs> uh, design problem, no? Kasi sometimes, ang ginagalaw lang talaga natin sa circuit ay yung mga resistor values to... to manipulate yung mga signals natin. Okay? So, itong R sub I <coughs> over R sub I plus R sub F, ang tawag natin yan, it is the attenuation. No? Kaya naman yung ating V sub F equal yan sa <coughs> V or B times V sub O. Yung ating B is the attenuation. Okay? So, tatandaan natin yung formula na yan. Gagamitin natin yung mga na yan. And uh, itong value na to, no? itong R sub I plus R sub F over R sub I, we call this the closed loop gain. No? Closed loop gain ng ating non-inverting amplifier. Ito na yung resulting voltage gain pagka nakakonfigure siya ng ganitong circuit. Of course, yung ating op-amp meron niyang open loop voltage gain sa kanyang specifications. But then, once na ganito na, ganito na yung kanyang configuration uh, and in effect na yung ating mga resistor values na nandyan, which uh, affects yung ating voltage output, meron na tayong tinatawag na closed loop voltage gain. Isa to sa mga effect ng negative feedback sa ating op-amps. And the closed loop voltage gain Para sa non-inverting amplifier, it is equal to R sub I plus R sub F all over R sub I. No? Madali lang naman yung tandaan. <coughs> I also have here the formula for the input impedance ng isang non-inverting amplifier. Okay? So, ang formula niyan is 1 plus yung ating open loop. Open loop, yun yung ating spec ng ating ano, of amp. Times yung B, which is affected by the resistor values, times yung ating input impedance dun sa ating uh, op-amp. Makikita rin natin yan sa specs ng ating op-amp. So, yan yung formula niyan, pakitandaan. Yung ating namang output impedance, it is equal sa uh, output impedance dun sa ating op-amp divided by 1 plus the open, open loop voltage gain times the attenuation. No? Napaka-importante na itong B na to, Kaya tandaan natin siya. Let's try to solve uh, an example no? for this uh, non-inverting <coughs> non-inverting amplifier. Okay? So first, uh, let us determine the closed loop voltage gain of the amplifier in this figure. So we have here a Non-inverting amplifier, di ba? So, yung ating input, uh, voltage in is nasa uh, non-inverting. Kaya naman yan ay non-inverting amplifier. And uh, it employs yung negative feedback. No? Uh, ang given sa atin is that we have R sub F equal to 100 kilo ohms. And we also have R sub I equal to 4.7 kilo ohms. And uh, we are required to find the closed loop voltage gain of this amplifier circuit question mark yan so ang solution natin dyan is that uh, closed loop voltage gain it is equal to tignan natin yung formula quantity R sub I plus R sub F over R sub I o yan di ba Pangit lang yung sulat ko. Substitute natin yung mga values. Sa R sub I, we have 4.7 kilo ohms plus 100 kilo ohms all over 4.7 kilo ohms. 
Ayan. Therefore, yung ating closed loop voltage gain sa isang non-inverting amplifier is <coughs> equal yan sa Twenty-two point three, no? Yan. So although hindi kinibin yung ating voltage, open loop voltage gain, no? Pero yung ating closed loop voltage gain with this configuration is twenty-two point three. Yan. So uh, next example, we have here another non-inverting amplifier circuit using an op amp. Uh, we are to determine the input and output impedances of the amplifier given with uh, the op-amp data sheet uh, giving the input impedance equal to 2 mega ohm. So, ito wala pa tayong ano yan, wala pa tayong negative feedback. So, yan yung kanyang uh, input impedance. We also have the output impedance equal to 75 ohms. And then yung ating open loop voltage gain equals sa 200,000. And yan. Okay. So we are required to find the input impedance ng ating non-inverting amplifier configuration na meron ng mga resistor, this is uh, RFRI. Yan yung question mark sa atin. Then we also need to find yung ating output uh, impedance Question mark din yan sa atin. Ano? And uh, yeah, yan lang dalawa. So, as our solution for this particular problem, gamitin lang natin yung formula. So, yung ating input impedance para sa non-inverting amplifier, it is equal to quantity 1 plus open loop voltage gain times the uh, attenuation times input impedance. Na, na nasa data sheet. So, therefore, i-substitute na lang natin yung mga values na yan. Uh, ano yung value ng B? Uh, where yung ating B equal yan sa R sub I divided by R sub I plus R sub F. Okay, check natin yung formula. Kung tama? Okay, tama. So, sub Solve muna natin yung ating attenuation. Equal yan sa 10 kilo ohms divided by 10 kilo ohms plus 220 kilo ohms. Yan. So yung beta natin, equal yan saan? <coughs> Zero point. 0, 4, 3, 5. So, niround off ko na, no? Therefore, yung ating input impedance with this uh, non-inverting circuit is equal to quantity 1 plus uh, 200,000 times 0. Point Alright, gamitin natin. 0. 0.0435 times yung ating Z sub in which is 2 mega ohms. Ganyan, ano? So using our calculator, yung ating value ng Z sub in it now becomes 17.4 giga ohms. So in this case, what uh, happened is that uh, when we used yung ating uh, negative feedback dito sa uh, non-inverting amplifier, from 2 mega ohms, yung ating input impedance went high, as high as 17.4 giga ohms. Ibig sabihin, kaya natin pataasin yung ating uh, input impedance pag gagamit tayo ng, ng negative feedback. No? 
is almost as high as positive infinity. Kaya naman, magandang, uh, maganda na gumagamit tayo ng negative feedback. Kung gusto natin pataasin yung ating input impedance. Okay? Sa op amps. For zigzag out ng ating non-inverting, again, same, gagamit lang tayo ng formula. Zigzag out, uh, output impedance yan ng, oops, output impedance divided by Uh, quantity 1 plus open loop gain <coughs> times B. So, substitute na agad natin yung mga values. Uh, yung ating output impedance, 75 ohms divided by 1 plus uh, times 200,000, no? Times 200,000 times 0.0435 This will now become equal to 8.6 milli ohm So dito naman from 75 naging 8.6 milli ohm which is almost uh, zero na yan no Nabababa pa natin yung output impedance from 75 to 8.6 million. So, all that's almost zero sa mga practical purposes. Halos wala na yan. No. <clears throat> so, ayan. So, before we proceed sa voltage follower and uh, inverting amplifier, uh, try muna natin mag-solve ng ano no, mag-practice na inverting or non-inverting amplifiers. Okay? Uh, see you on the next uh, part of this uh, lesson.